In today's diecast review, this is going to be one epic nostalgia trip. Holy crap, is this the best diecast of 2012? In my opinion, it certainly could be. Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast. Buffet here again with one of the coolest 2012 Jugibs Racing diecast you will see. It is, in my opinion, the final ride, really, for the Home Depot Toyota Camry. My God, man. Uh, 2012 was an awesome year uh, for paint schemes for the 20 car. And I tell you what, fellas, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box because, wow, does this orange freaking pop, y'all. Alrighty, folks, right out of the good old box and holy freaking cow, man. Look, this paint scheme is so simple. It is so modern, sharp. It is everything of the toolbox, fellas, and pun intended with the Home Depot wrap. I tell you what, man. 2012 and 2011 were such an interesting time for me with Joe Gibbs Racing. I don't know why, but uh, it was really polarizing. You think what Denny Hamlin's at, Joe Gibbs Racing is together where they're at nowadays. 2011 now in the mix. Kyle Busch, two-time champion. Logano wins a 500 in the championship with Penske. I mean, the 2012 lineup truly is still very much potent in the sport nowadays. And my goodness, man, this paint scheme is so freaking fantastic. Look, I miss Home Depot and the freaking Cup Series, fellas. They had some fantastic looking paint jobs, yo. And this car, man, yes, it's not the, the 20, you know, 2009 or 2009 paint scheme that had like the white stripes and whatnot on the sides, but this was just a simple orange hot rod. And believe it or not, Joey Logano outdueled Mark Martin at Pocono to get his lone uh, win of that season and his final win for Joe Gibbs Racing. And sure enough, he would go to Penske the next year and then begin setting the world on fire. Wow. Uh, is this a hot look at diecast? If you want to get some diecasts for yourself, your collection, your diecast series, all that good stuff, and you're tired of paying for shipping, make sure to use that promo code down below in the description, fellas. Use the code DIECASTBUFFET at Circle Diecast or Plan B Sales, and guess what? Free shipping on anything. Pre-orders, diecast, t-shirts, you freaking name it. Because over here, fellas, yeah, we pay for diecasts, but we don't pay for shipping. Nope. No shipping over here, fellas. You got the nose of this car. I got the Camry font right there, which, oh my god, I love that. I like the thin outlining to it. The very nice border trim. You got the number 20 right there. Got Chuggins Racing. Very, very sharp. Goodyear Gatorback belts. Comp uh, at a Bronx Sunoco. Very, very sharp looking die cast here, fellas. Really, really like that. And um, it's kind of interesting how the front piece here kind of has a three dimensional like shadow to it. So. Maybe I'd have to look at the actual 2012 production Camry. Maybe there's a little bit of a three-dimensional insert or something. Uh, but I find that a little bit interesting why there's a, a shadow pattern there. So anyways, over to the left side of this die cast. And my goodness, man. Like, you know, there is so many opportunities um, to make a good paint scheme with a bright orange color, right? You could put a thousand different patterns on it. But sometimes the most simple paint schemes truly sell the product and this is just perfect man a beautiful beautiful shot of orange that's it like and this is a it's not a day glow orange but it's a reflective orange like if you put this thing in sunlight yo it's gonna it's gonna be like high beams right it is fantastic shade of orange like it definitely re reacts to the camera and the lighting of the studio as well. So this is another fun little thing Home Depot did. So notice the Joey Logano font. It's not a Penske font. It's not a cursive font. No. It's literally the Home Depot font. Love that. Uh, of course you got some um, sport clips right there. Coca-Cola, Home Depot, uh, Joe Gibbs Racing. Got the Camry badge right there. And uh, a lot of people are probably wondering. They actually did that? Yeah. Uh, for whatever reason in 2012. Toyota liked a little bit of a badge right there on the back side glass. And of course, since the 2011 and 2012 diecasts were a generic mold, they all had the 2007 to 2010 uh, COT promo back window. Uh, originally, the Camry back window would go all the way back here uh, to where my right thumb is, and you would see the Toyota logo there. But uh, uh, with the generic mold, they had to make some sacrifices. Got Cup Series, looks very good, I might add. Uh, Sprint Cup Series, um... Uh, we got a uh, race car, Goodyear. I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on with the Goodyear logo here. Is it white? Is it orange? Is it yellow? I can't really tell. Mechanics for Holly, USG, DirecTV, Mac Tools, 3M, Autometer, Denso, Dow, Stanton, Jags, Freightliner, Doosan, whatever that is. 
God, I missed the orange number 20 in the Cup Series, man. I know we had the yellow Stanley Tools joint, and that's, that, you know, that kind of gives me a little bit of a fix for it, but, man, that orange number 20 used to be a beast every freaking week. It didn't matter if it was Tony Stewart. Well, it did matter if it wasn't Tony Stewart because Logano wasn't an absolute beast in the 20 car, but, my God, the nostalgia is real. Uh, Home Depot, once again, right there. Got the American Ethanol ring there as well. Over here to the back end of this die cast, and it just... Just a simple, I'm just saying, a simple paint job of orange goes a long way when you have a fabulous uh, die cast like this. Like, it, there's no paint scheme, there's no wraps, you know, crazy designs, nothing. It's literally just a, a paint job of orange and some clear coat. And my goodness, man, is it a beautiful freaking die cast. Got Home Depot right there, it's a little bit skewed up. Even the spoiler is painted orange. Very, very sharp. You can look at that gloss right there. On that back spoiler, yo. Now that is a nice finish. Got the Toyota badge right there. Um, it's a little bit skewed up. Get number 20. Uh, I don't think it says Joe Gibbs Racing there. Over here to the right side of this die cast. It uh, looks like the whole decal sheet here. It's a little bit off-center. You can notice how the Goodyear logo is uh, raised up here. Like all these decals right here, it's kind of plateaued up. So when they put it on here, it probably was a little too high up. This is probably all one piece. As you can look on this side, it's it's pretty well flat, right? It's very flat, works with the side skirts. On this side, it's going up. So, that's unfortunate, but man, I tell you, th this is one cool die cast. Look, if you see this die cast um, available, maybe for like, I don't know, 9 bucks, 10 bucks, what are you doing? Because this thing is absolutely worth it, man. This is a really cool piece. It was the final uh, Gen 5 card to be produced at the Home Depot wrap. Uh, in 2013, Kenseth would take this car, right? And I think he had, like, one race with the Home Depot car, like, the full orange one. But they never made a die cast for it, unfortunately, I don't think. Uh, they made the Husky Home Depot uh, car in 2014, which I did a review on uh, months and months ago. But, uh, unfortunately, they never made a uh, Home Depot full wrap, I think. Got the number 20 right there. And I like to kind of touch on this um, every time we do one of these Joe Gibbs Racing reviews. Is you can notice how the 20 has that Tony Stewart, you know, esque font, right? But on the roof, they have that kind of stale, bold font. I like that difference. Very, very sharp. And then over here to uh, the deck lid of this die cast, you got Dollar General. Remember when they were a gigantic sponsor in the sport? It didn't matter if it was, uh, what is it, H. Scott Motorsports. It didn't matter if it was like Scott Pruett in the freaking Nationwide Series at Road America or whatever. It just seems like Dollar General was like, they were sponsoring so many hot rides back in the day, yo. Uh, especially with the Joe Gibbs Racing Camp. They sponsored many of their Nationwide cards. And, of course, Joey Logano in the Cup Series. And then they would go on and begin to sponsor Matt Kenseth, I think, until 2016. Uh, they hopped off board after 2015, I believe. But my goodness, man. This is one of those occasions where you don't need a decal sheet or you don't need designs, crazy flames, or nothing. Just take a can of orange, spray the freaking die cast, put the decals on, and my God, you got a beautiful 164 scale hot rod. Look. If you don't have this die cast in your collection, man, what are you doing? This thing is fabulous, yo. And that Gen 5 body style to it, that very um, aerodynamic front valence, beautiful orange spoiler. This is, I would probably say this is a 9.7 out of 10 of a paint scheme. That is how freaking fantastic and how much I love this die cast, man. It truly is one of the best looking cars from 2012. And I think the 2011 is pretty well identical to this, so uh, you might be able to pick up both of them for a reasonable price. Anyways, folks, thank y'all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe if you will, please. And if you want to help support the channel and save some money in the process, uh, make sure to go use that promo code, fellas, at CircleVDieCast and FlyB Sales. Link down below. Any order is $20 or more. You'll get free shipping, fellas. Wow. We need Home Depot back in the sport. Either as a primary sponsor for a freaking car, or, check this out, as a uh, pre-race sponsor. You remember the um, the NASCAR race day shows uh, sponsored by Home Depot? And they had the uh, infield uh, stage built with Kyle Petty, Rutledge Wood, and all them cats. My God, man, that was some fun days. Anyways, folks, thank y'all so much for watching. Have a blessed one, fellas. Die Kiss Buffet, signing off.